Hey guys, this is Fee. Let's do a whip and chat with a bit of a difference. I'm um, I brought some unicorn keychains, so I'm going to bring you down and zoom you in a bit closer. I'll do it so that you don't feel sick. Uh, I think that's about right. Here we go. How's that? Right. Um, so I thought I'd, I'm going to do some little, 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 little key rings. Um, I'm actually loving the key rings. I don't know what it is about them. Um, but I thought what I'd do is I'd have a bit of a whip and chat while I started and um, small unbagging. So these keychains I did not order online. Ten, five, ten, maybe even 15 minute drive at the most from me is markets and I went and picked these up. So I don't know what they cost online but I paid 15 Aussie dollars for them. I think that probably equates to about you know, the way the dollars, dollars going at the moment. Hang on, how about I do a conversion? Where's my travel? So if I had 15 Aussie dollars at today's conversion rates, let's see if we can zoom in. So it's about $10.25 for you guys in the US. Uh, it's not zooming on that one. Oh, how about we shift that one? You don't need to see Egyptian pounds. That's from the last time I travelled. So what we're looking at is, it's not going to zoom on it, basically 8.3 pounds or 9.2 euros. Okay, so that's what they cost if I did my standard um, conversion rates. I don't know whether that's going to help you guys so you've got an idea of what it costs when we purchase stuff. So yeah, I purchased these at the Malaga markets and what I'm going to do is work on these. So I'll go through them and hang on I need to bring these closer to me but there we go um, so I'm going to go through them and check them off but in that time I'm also going to have a chat about what I've done while I've been on break and um, yeah a couple of interesting things that have happened so let's pretend it's Christmas I don't know if you can hear the rustling or not uh, we will open up the unicorn key ring and let's see what we've got in there. I have brought from these guys before. I did purchase the leopard I put in resin. And I'll try and remember to put some links up here somewhere so you can have a look for those. Um, but I purchased those from Malaga Markets. Okay, so standard toolkit, bit of wax, drill pen and some baggies that will probably never see the light of day but yeah very 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 thin baggies but yeah that's okay we can deal with that we're used to these bags I do like the trays though so yeah okie dokie I can't find the opening of that bag have a look at the Drills first. Seriously, I can't see them. Okay, so the drills we have 18. Okay, right, I'm gonna be real real special see what I can do to zoom you in fairly close so 1 to 18 oh gosh my nails are brighter than what okay so there's a yellow uh, or a pinky orangey ready color there is so they are rhinestones these are AB white AB green or blue, rhinestone purple and AB pink with a little couple of hitchhikers, 
Is that a bluey colour? Green rhinestone, another yellowish black rhinestone. Some gold, some bigger yellows, bigger whites. Gold marquee, crystal marquee, larger marquee, red and purple marquees. Did I go through those too quickly? Probably did. Okay, so what do we got? How do I tackle these? 18 colours, so obviously there is 18 different colours on these. Get these out of the bag. Okay, righty. Usual keychain pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five chains. Okay, I'll just put them in the tray. righty -o. so I should have five unicorns, which I do. How cute. They are cute little unicorns. Gosh, look at it. I'm slowly staining this. Okay, I hope that's not a loose drill. Alright, so, oh actually I think that was because the hole wasn't punched out properly. Each of these have got their little holes punched out on them. They are double sided. So, I suppose, which one's got, they've got, oh got 18. I suppose I'll go with the purplish one first. Um, do you know what? <laughs> oh, guess what? Hang on. Perfect opportunity. 18 colours. I have 18 beadboard thingies. So, I will zoom this out so you get to watch the full, enjoy the full effect. Bear with me while I muck around here. Rightio. So, my beadboards. This is going to be perfect. I'm not going to have to pack them away at all. I will just do that. Do these up and go. So, rightio. Where's my whiteboard marker? It's here somewhere. It's here, I used it last night. No, it's gone hiding on me. Oh, well. I have lots of whiteboard markers. Let's go this one. One, two, Three. Whoops, turn it over. <laughs> Put it upside down. Actually, sometimes you find you go, oh, the bead boards are, can be fiddly to set up. But when you consider the fact that I have five keychains and I'm not going to have to pack these up until all done and dusted. Okay. How cool is this? Um, I have ordered parts, just so you are aware. I'm ordering bits and pieces for making my own beadboard, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, and that's those. One zip. Where did I put the other Ziploc bag? There it is. Other Ziploc bag. I put that there. Keep them together. <laughs> Sorry, you can't quite see it. Oh, there we go. You got the greys. I looked up 
didn't I? I had to look up. I looked up and I stopped focusing on what I was doing. Okay, and put that one in there, and there we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, look at this. I can count. That one just popped out. It's not sitting in there. 14, 15, 16, 17, and we've got 18 down there. Okay, so 18 colours. I will actually be able to start working on these very easily. Okay, but... So when you do ones that have the same colours, you can't pack them up in between. So, got no issue with doing this way. Wow. Okay. Actually, there is an even easier way than what I'm doing. I did it the last time I used these. What I did was cut off the end. Instead of having to cut twice, I only cut once. There's one little one left in there. Come on, how'd you go? Scissors didn't want to cut that one. One still in there. Gotta get that last one. Oops. Five. This is where you're getting to see all the colours. Misfire. <laughs> missed, missed, missed. But they didn't go far. Six. That one stuck to my finger and I didn't get it off. Some pretty colours here. I just don't want to come out of the bag. There we go. Five. Once I get to the big ones, it'll be nice and easy. Is that that's that one? Ten. Just move these so that I'm not knocking the trays while I stack it up. See my lovely writing for fourteen. Hehehe. <laughs> So, what have I done so far while I've been on break? I have... No, I did some framing. Okay. So, I framed... <laughs> that was clever. I framed the custom leopard, my 40 by 50 custom leopard, which you've seen that one. Um, I did a whip and chat. Hang on, that was me just checking. I did a whip and chat. Right. You haven't seen it. Do you know why you haven't seen it? <laughs> because 
I didn't hit record. Actually, no, I did. I recorded five minutes, had to pause because I got interrupted, and then sat back down to do more and to do a full hour, you know, and forgot to hit record. So special little Vegemite here, you know, well, that's the way it goes. So no whip and chat from me for that one. I was working on... Ah, my two, my 75 by, or 70, 75 by 200 waterfall on the short link canvas. So I was working on that one at the time. So there's another diamond painting that I'm back to working on. Now that Victoria Moon's done, get out. Come on. There we go. Now that Victoria, my Victoria Moon's completed, I'm back to working on all my diamond paintings. <laughs> Not necessarily at once, but, you know, so many in a day. So, yeah, back to do, working on my waterfall. I have also, so I framed my custom leopard, um, which I think I've already said. I framed my custom Durban. So that's the 60 by 100. And that one is my culprit for liking big paintings, big customs. Okie dokie, so that's all of those, and I'm just going to excuse the crinkling while I get rid of these. Should have pulled my box out, put those in. Oh well. Right, so that's gone. Let's just roll that up. Never to be a scene again until I put it in the bin. Okie dokie, and back to that way. And straighten these up. Okay, whip and chat. Here we go. So what, uh, and which one did I do? I'm going to start on the purple one first. Tweezers. Let's I get this one up. There we go. Eek. Stuff that sticks. Not good. So what am I looking at? Here we go. I can actually work with that in my hand. Let's work my way around. Um, concentrating hard here just to put the initial couple of drills in. down there okay oh yeah anyway. so yeah i and i frame my custom so my Durban, what i call my durban custom and i'll try and remember put those links in where i uh, worked on those i'll try and put those in here please forgive me if i don't put the links in um sometimes i just upload it and then i forget that i need to do it um or I start doing it and I get distracted. I mean, this is a hobby, so yeah. <laughs> yep. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to have to change pens, I think. Pull out the big guns. Where is it? I've got a choice of one or two different pens. I'll see how that one goes. If that one doesn't do what I want it to do. We all know, <coughs> oh, excuse me, croaky voice then. Um, all the ones that have got fancy colours, uh, all the rhinestone ones, pull the wax out. Just checking, there we go. Oh, I'm going to, might do the edge. The edge just drive me nuts. I want to touch it. Um, so, yeah, I'll try and remember to put the. No, that pen is not right. That needs that's for the bigger rhinestones. So we go the trusty slick pick. Slick pick, quick pick. Um, this one has continuous glue goop. So there we go. Audio. 
So yeah, I got my Durban custom, that's framed. I did start recording that one. I've had no luck with some of my recordings, like I've done quite a bit um, and just, yeah, struggled. But I got halfway through and Nathan came home. Um, so I went and dealt with dinner and, you know, like he came home and had his snack and I cooked dinner and um, got to the point where I needed to finish off what I was doing with the, the frame, but Nathan was cranky, so I didn't film it. I just got it done because he was coming in and out of the house and every time he walked into the house he'd start talking and then he got <laughs> pissed off with me because it's like oh are you recording I can't talk now so it's like oh well um so I just got it done <clears throat> um which if I whoops wrong app let's pull up my photos so that's it on the floor obviously not up on the wall yet. Let's see if I can get this. Okay. So that's my custom Durban frameless perspex, all framed, good to hang up and looks gorgeous and really happy with it. Really happy with it. Um, finger on the glue. So that's, I've done that. What else have I achieved? <laughs> okay, yeah. I So you've seen me unboxing the craft some of the crafty stuff for stuff I've planned to do. And I have had a trial run and failed dismally at the first steps. Well not the first steps. So I've managed to make them but the moulds that I'm using are, I need to make them bigger. Um, I will show you. So this is far out. That's clever. Hang on. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Can you see why Nathan calls me klutz? Because I am one. Bear with me while I just go and locate all these drills that are all over the place. Okay. There's a couple on the floor, but oh well. And there's a couple in the purple and a couple in the pink. Oh, at least I know where they are. <laughs> I don't think I need any fours on this one, do I? Nope. Okay, so. Um, so dismal fail on the on the cover minders first stage couple of reasons one is obviously as I just showed you too small um, the magnets I used were too small like I wanted what I wanted to try and do was keep them dainty um, okay so what I want to do is try and actually if I put them on a white tray Okay, so what I did want to do is just keep them dainty. So what you had was two, a fl green flower with a green backing, purple flower with a purple backing, and then a glittery one with a pink backing. But if I turn this over, you can see the tiny magnet, that little silvery dot. 
um, that magnet although they do hold together they're not strong enough I'm not happy to use them to as a cover miner so I've had to go and find stronger magnets and I need bigger molds which I do have on order hang on a sec uh, I could hear a bell tinkling and I'm expecting a delivery well I was expecting a delivery yesterday um, which hasn't turned up so I was just wondering whether it was that but it's neighbours kids ringing bells in their backyard okay so um, yes yeah, so I've got more stuff coming um, you yeah, know some of it was supposed to arrive yesterday still not here so I've got to worry about that when that's going to arrive because what I normally do if I know it's going to arrive on one of my working day shifts I managed, usually manage to contact the company and turn around and say can you deliver it two days later or a day later depending on when I'm expecting it so that then it's while I'm at home So yeah, um, I purchased the wrong magnets. The magnets were too small for the job. However, I am thinking I may be able to use them still, but just trying to work on how to adapt the process. And you know, it's all it's all you know, a case of trial and error. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, what else? So that's those. They didn't work. Disappointment plus. But, oh well. I now have magnets that should work. But I think they're now too big. Um, I did buy them from a $2 store that sells craft stuff I did find a craft store she didn't have them that she'd been brought out of all of her magnets um, there was a craft couple of craft stores I dropped into that had had them so I went and purchased from them okay guys I'm gonna now beam you down a bit and see what I'm doing okay uh, so yeah I purchased from uh, them I purchased a few other bits and pieces and I am going to have another go I mean obviously I'm going to have another go because I really want to do these because I, I, my idea I think is cool in that way that sense of um, So yeah, I've just what I've got to do is just wait. Hang on, that one's a dud drill. What I've got to do is wait for all the pieces that I've ordered, and then make them. So some really cool ones. I don't want to. Some of them are. What I want to do is not standard. I mean, cover minders in resin are not standard anyway. But. I'm going to do some special ones. I've managed to find a couple of websites that do interesting molds for UV resin and two-part resin. So I'll be working with that on... What else? Hang on, sorry, looking. There we go, a couple more fires on there. So what we'll be doing is when they arrive, I will work on those and it's going to be an interesting process and hopefully you guys like them. My, I will say this, my email address is down below. Uh, I would like to say first make it five. The first five people that email me will get one how about that first five people to email me when I do my cover minders I will 
record them. And I'm going to do the hard thing. I'm going to record them and not... I'm going to record the making of them, uh, but not publish the recording. So that when I send them to you guys, send them out to my first five, I will... They will be a they will be a true surprise, um, and then once all five of you have seen, I will actually go and publish. How's that? Fair deal. First five. I will be doing six to send out. Um, so Anna, if Anna Dion will be receiving one without having to apply. <laughs> Without sending me an email. Actually, no, Anna, you still need to send me an email. Can you send me an email with your address so I know where to post it out to when they're done? Remembering that this is all a trial and error and as soon as I, once I get one, get them done to how I want them, um, we'll see how they... Once I get the moulds and I get them created... I'll then make them, send them on, and then I'll get your feedback. Um, I once all five, all six have received them and emailed me, I'll then turn around and um, post the video, and then you guys can put your review in and how you feel about it. Okay, so that's where we stand there. So the cover minders. Getting there with those, um, I've done some test runs. I'm quite happy with the process. I just need slightly different moulds, which are on the way already. And, um, yeah, the bigger magnets. But uh, I reckon I'm, I'm going to get it okay. I may still be able to use my little itty bitty magnets. But we'll see. Okay. Um... What else? <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> I've had an interesting time off. So this block was only... Oh no, five days. Yeah, five days. Five days off. So we all... You know, I've done the old... Results back from the doctor and it's not as bad as expected. So happy days on that one. I... <laughs> I finally went and bought a new computer <laughs> with Nathan going, you don't need a new computer. I'm like going, yes, I do. You don't hear this one going off. He goes, you seem to use it fine. <laughs> it's like, you don't hear this one going off. Um, sixes. So, yeah. So that's been... My son helped me with that one. Um, I mentioned to him a while back that I needed a new computer. And he turned around and he said, oh, these guys are really good. You get it built. You know, this is the first time I've gone through for a custom build. Normally it's like buy one off the shelf. And then you try and knock them down because the bits that, you don't, bits that are on there that you don't want, it's like, well, I don't want that. Why am I paying for it? Um, so... Uh, instead, we, so Dion took, we, we looked at it and we put together what thought would suit. Because um, you can do that on the website. You calculate, you go put together what you want and then you go into them. Well, you can order online, but you can go into them if you're a computer dummy like me. You can go into them and then they will have a look at what you've requested. And then they do to you what they did to me. Which was really good. I will say it was really good. Well, that's such a pretty blue. Because the guy actually, I went, I want this, I want this. You know, he looked at the looked at the specs of the stuff I wanted, and he turned around and said, "What do you want that for?" And it's like, "Oh, because of this." He's like, "You don't need it. This operating system here is cheaper. If we give you this, this will be cheaper. It'll do exactly what you want." And he asked me what I do with a with the um, computer, why, what I use it for. You know, I told him, and then I turned around and said, you know, I have a lot of things plugged into USB ports. 
that one went somewhere. I think that one went there. Either did it? Nope. Oh, well, I'll find it eventually. Um, yeah, I turned around and said, I've got a lot of things plugged into USB ports and I need to make sure that I have power from all because if I plug all of my USB things in, um, one of my cameras, one of two of my cameras stops working. Yes, I have two cameras plugged in USB plus the one that's on my monitor. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... And the guy just looked at me and went, oh, okay. Hang on, a couple of sixes there. That's where that one went to. That one that I flung went there. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things that I wanted. And like, I wanted a particular case. Hang on, I'm going to use the camera to see if I can zoom in and work that out. No, it isn't one. Okay. And on to the nines. Um, yeah, I wanted a particular case which looks really cool. And that is the basis of wanting it is because it looks cool. And he said, what do you want that for? Why do you want that? Because that's really big. You don't need it. If you go that one... Um, the motherboard or whatever it is <laughs> um, is small and you know it, you, you just don't don't need to go that one so why do you want it and I just looked at him and I said because it looks good and he went okay <laughs> he could tell he was dealing with a my, my son was with me but he could tell he was dealing with somebody that's got no freaking ideas on computer um I might be able to work stuff and work programs, but cro cro computers themselves, no. Um, and he turned around and he's like, okay. He said, well, if you're going to use that one, you might as well get a bigger motherboard. Um, the one that you're looking at, though, we've got something similar to that, which is actually cheaper. Yep, beauty. You say cheaper to me. I'm quite happy with it because I'm impressed that you're saying something is cheaper. We all get like that, don't we? Um... So, yeah, he he did that. And then he turned around and said, what programs are you running? And I said, oh, it's this and this. And plus, I think it's this one as well. Um, and he looked at me and goes, I've not heard of them. And I've, so I've had to Google them. And he's looked at the operating specs of it. And he's gone, okay, so this is what you'll need. This, is a, this will handle it. Um, we'll make sure you've got... You'll have six, I think it was six USB hub ports at the back of the computer and two at the front, which is really good. Quite good for my liking. Okay. Twelve. There. I don't have wax on this pen. This thing picks them up anyway. 12 there, 13 there, we're nearly there. So yeah, we went for a bigger motherboard and we've got the operating thing that will run my programs that I want. Whoops, did I just, bugger, did I just do that? Hang on, all these things are stuck on when they're stuck on. Now that's a 13. No, that's a 13. Jeez. Okay, it's just that one that was a 12. Okay. So, yeah, we've gone that way and then 16. Tweezers for that one. Okay, so yeah, he's gone with that and he's turned around and convinced me to go with this motherboard and right you are, which, you know, I don't mean, no, know anything about it, so all good. Okay, here we go. One done, one side anyway.
little cutie. Still got the other side to do, but I'm going to move on to another one. Hucky dicky. Um, tweezers. Right, so we've got that side of it done. And then we had some cooling fans. And he said, what do you need them for? You don't need them because you've already got cooling fans built in. He says, what makes you think that you need to have extra cooling fans? <laughs> and I turned around and said to him, well, the one that I'm running now, the fan goes off. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might need to do it. He goes, and Dion goes, mum, that's because your computer's so old. <laughs> And then he told him what I had, and the guy rolled his eyes and went, okay, no wonder. Uh, so there, that's going to be quite funny. That's quite funny. And then monitors. He was like, well, because he said to me and said, what type of monitor you want? Because we can see here you've got a cur you're wanting a curved one. And why do you want a curved one? And I just looked at him and went, oh, because it's cool. And he goes, well, give me a valid reason why why you should go a curved one. Um, I said, just because I like the look of it. I want it. He goes, well, where's it going to be sitting? I said, oh, corner of my desk. I'm going to be putting it on a desk mount, um, a vassal, vassal or something like that, my son calls him. And he went, well, that's just pointless. You waste of money. You might as well go this one. It's cheaper. It's exactly the same screen set up. Righty, righty, right. You know, um, and I will go righty, righty, right because you know he step, kept saying more stuff that I had no idea on. Um, that's it for the tens. Yep. So we. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I went for this cheaper monitor. Um, and there was yeah, bits of, a couple of things, you know, that was like, I want this. And he, you know, he went, yep, okay, understand that one. All of that. You know, he didn't question some of the choices because apparently I'd made good choice. They made good choices. Or should I say my son made the good choices. And... Um, some parts he needs to order for us. So these guys, they build it. So he's, you know, they have a 10 day build time. Hang on, I'm just trying to see. Yep, okay. I'm just trying to go to try and rescue the fours out of the other trays while I muck around here. No. Nah. I'm going to have to tweezer them out. Um, yeah, so it's a five-day build time. However, when they... Um, they've got, got to get order specific things in for mine because there was one thing that I wanted that they didn't have. Uh, so they're going to order that in. So I'm looking at, you know, well, one and a half weeks and I'll have a new computer. Which will be yay. And they turned around and said, oh, I'll be built, it'll be ready on this date. And I went, can't it be ready a day earlier? And he's turned around and go, no, that's probably it. If we, if it's, we can't guarantee you any earlier. We might do earlier, but we can't guarantee it. So you're not, we're not saying that you can have it by then. And he turns around and goes, why, why do you want it earlier? <laughs> And it's like, well, that's when I'm still on my days off. When I can pick it up, I'll be actually be on shift. <laughs> so my son went, oh, I can pick it up for you, Mum. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. We'll see how much of I want to take him up on that offer. Okay, a couple of twos there. And threes. So I don't know whether I want him to pick it up for me because then I know it's picked up or whether I just want to pick it up from the store myself. I don't know. I've got to decide that one. Because nothing beats the feeling of picking up something. So yeah. Um, went in with the wanting certain things and it was going to cost me 
this price um, and then went in and he questioned me so much with what do you want that for, what do you want that for and telling me that things that I was after were pointless getting for what I wanted to do with the computer. He um, So I ended up paying less for what less than what I expected which is really good for a company to actually encourage you and turn around and say to you you don't really need that for what you're doing um, yeah pretty impressive however he did say that oh maybe that's a delivery hang on Sorry guys, um, you know, yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> that dog's having fun making me get out of my chair. <laughs> um, he did turn around and say, you know, the stuff that I was looking at getting but he convinced me I didn't really need, he said, if you really do find that you need it, we can get them and put them into your computer at a later t later time but give this one a go you and then once you've used once you've used it for a bit if you need to add the extra parts we can add the extra parts you just need to bring it in and we can do it um, yeah so that's really good really good I did like that there's not many places you can go to and go this is what I want and then have somebody legitimately go, do you really need it? This one here is cheaper and it will do the same thing or it will do close to, but the one that you're after is just going to, is only necessary if you are doing such and such, such and such. So yeah, um, this guy was good because, well mine, Maybe it's because he's not family. But if a member of my family said, do you really need it? I would just look them in the eye and go, yes, I need it. I want it, therefore I need it. <laughs> um, it also helped that this guy knew what he's talking about. And I wasn't that set on 100% on what I wanted. But, um, yeah. Nathan was a bit surprised that I didn't, uh, well, I didn't tell him what I spent on it, but he was quite surprised when I turned around and said, this guy talked me down out of things and I didn't spend as much as I planned. He was very surprised, which is pretty cool. <laughs> if you make sense, then I will step back, but if you don't make sense or you can't explain it, <laughs> no. <nah. laughs> okay. There we go. Where are we going? Still a couple more threes on there. I really should have my glasses on. Oh, I know what it is. I haven't got my lamp directly above me. Normally I have a lamp where I can see the symbols. Uh, oh no, more threes still. Oops. Hang on a sec. Okay, sorry, interrupted by the phone. Obviously, you heard that ringing. Um, <laughs> Nathan's lost his wallet. <laughs> and so, hmm. He went and brought coffee beans, this, well, ground coffee this morning. I'd say if he's not got it, that's where it probably is. He's shocking with his wallet. Um, so, yeah. New, in a nutshell, I've got a new computer coming in about one and a half weeks, maybe less. Well, less actually. And that's going to be fun. The question that Nathan then went on with was, what are you going to do with the old one? Are you going to sell it? And I went, no, there's too much information on it. I can't sell it. If I do anything with it, I've got to pull it apart. Um... He turned around and said, I'll just restore it back to factory settings. 
And I turned around and I said to him, I am not risking some of the information on my computer just for a couple of hundred bucks. You know, my, well, I mean, to me, this computer is not worth anything <laughs> except parts. Otherwise, I would still be using it or I'd still be, wouldn't be looking at getting a new computer. So looking at the numbers, trying to read the numbers. Okay, okay. On to the sixes. Sixes there. Sixes up there. So what else have I done? Ah. Oh. <clears throat> I've mentioned it before. I went. There's um, a community group once a month. Or the first Friday of every month, they get there's um, a get together at the local markets, which is where I got these from, um, and a bit of a get together from uh, where people just sit down and diamond paint actually in the food hall at the markets, which. When I first started, I, you know, like I said, this was a Friday was the first time I went. And initially I was like very self-conscious of it. And then, you know, um, I arrived early cause I, and I couldn't see anybody there. So I was a bit, you know, is it still happening kind of thing. And yeah, it still happened. So what happened? We went in. I went in. I went in and couldn't see anybody diamond painting. So I went back outside and I stood outside for about 10 minutes. And then went back in again and still nobody there. I couldn't see anybody diamond painting. So I walked towards the store that sells the diamond paintings. And three ladies were walking down and they had diamond paintings in their hand. And I introduced myself and said, said you know, asked about the, the meeting. And they went, yep, follow us, you know, kind of thing. Oh, no, no, no. I saw them and I just followed them to the, where they were, went to sit and then confirmed and they were like, yeah, that's, yep. Yeah. So, sat down with them. Um, three ladies and a man. One of the ladies' husbands was there. And then, the, to do with the store. And there was another lady there. Was, she was nice. I sat next to um, me being me, I can't remember names. I'd see her face and I'd recognise her in an instant, but I couldn't even say her name. Um, but yeah, she was nice. She was working on one of the journals where you put the drills on the front front of the journal. Okay, so um, that was an interesting experience. But it was pretty cool to do. It was good to do. It was nice to... Uh, Oh gosh, that one's an upside down. Hang on. It was nice to uh, meet people that do the same thing. That is obviously those that I haven't corrupted myself personally. <laughs> um, yeah. You could tell which one of the ladies ran the store. Um. I mean, she introduced herself, you know, you, you knew which straight up who, who, which one ran this, who, well, basically owned the store and the others work there or have a bit of an interest with. Um, and I will say what she did was, to me, was a bit, I was uncomfortable with. Um, I brought, Um, and, you know, she asked me where I buy stuff from and, you know, it's like oh, I buy stuff from all over the place. Um, different websites. Uh, okay, there we go. Which, you know, which is, which I do. Um, she saw my bead storage container, the one with the 60 bottles. 
Um, actually, yeah, no, when she asked me about where I buy from, I said I buy all, you know, different websites. Um, I said I avoid AliExpress with the exception of ever moment I get ever I go ever moment I brought customers from, but I haven't brought anything, any diamond paintings from AliExpress with the exception of ever moment. Because I try all the other sites because I struggle with AliExpress website. Um, mind I did well, I did purchase a blank canvas from them, and then that was wrong and it was a mess up. But yeah. Um, so yeah, she was, she was, you know, asking me where I get all my diamond paint and the way she put it, it came, came across to me as pretty rude. Maybe I'm just a bit precious. Hang on, I need to get more goop out. There we go. Uh, so yeah, the, then she saw my storage bottle and she turned around and she goes, oh, I looked at getting those in the store, but they're just too expensive. You know, I was getting, I was going to get charged this price. I had a supplier was going to sell them to me this price, and I've got to put them at such and such. And um, you know, I've got to be able to make money off my store, which is a fair call. She does. But then she had a proper look at it, and um, one of the other girls, she really, one of the other girls who I met the last time I went into the store. Um, one of the other girls was, hang on, that's a 15, I think. Um, yeah, it's 15. So one of the other girl, what, you know, she was looking at it and she went, oh, that's really good. So straight up, the other woman was, the woman that owns the store, um, was straight onto the websites looking at prices and, you know, she asked me, oh, was, did you pay about that? And I think, oh, probably about that. I'm not quite sure, you know. Which I turned around and said, well, I don't keep track of what I spend on my craft. This is a hobby. If I can't afford to do it, I'm not going, if I have to ask what prices are, I'm not going to do it. That's the way I feel about a hobby. If you're going to do it, yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's the next one done. It's very glittery, very shiny. The camera's not really doing, it's focusing on the wrong thing. Okay, so that's two fronts done. Hmm. Just trying to work out which one next. This one will do. This one's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. Um. So yeah, she was looking at that, and then she's looking at the websites and. I dare say she will sell them in her store now. Um, and then she mentioned um, she mentioned a few things, but she did uh, hang on, sorry, just looking for the ones there we go. Um she was critical of some other stores and as a seller um, when she was so she was asking me prices of what I bought for stuff um, you know I've gone I've had the acrylic pen that I was given you know it's like well I've been given that one I had this one with me as well you know, and everything that I had, she was asking, basically asking me how much I paid for things. Um, I did go with the um, Claudia, is it Claudia? Te the, oh gosh, um, went, I went there with one of my DIY moons, the wasn't the Claudia Tembi one, it was the other one. Um, why is it skipping my mind? So my long long one um, that I got as a mystery in the mystery box. I was able to tell her who the artist was before when I was there. Um, but yeah, you know, she was asking prices and just so that she could get a gauge on what she could sell things for. 
and I do believe she may have actually taken a picture. I know she was taking pictures um, of the group, but I do believe that one of her pictures is aimed directly at my diamond painting. Um, so hopefully, well, she's going to look at it and she'll actually see the logo on it, which is DIY Moon. Um, but she straight up went, oh, well, that's anime. You've purchased, you've got an anime print. It's like, okay. Uh, she can make her mind up on that. I dare say she would have looked it up by now. Um, I'm so cynical on things, so cynical. As a community, supposed to be a community group thing, um, being pumped on how much you paid for stuff is just not good. Not good. But, you know, I still did go into her store today and obviously I went and brought these. Okay. I will still, you know, I might go back to her again. Oh, well, I probably will. won't have any issue with that. Um... But yeah, I got out of my comfort zone and I went and met people and diamond painted and, you know, I suppose when I was waiting to go, waiting for people, I was there thinking, I might as well just go home. And then all I could think is, no, if I go home, Nathan will, you know, he'll say something about me trying to go out and then not, not going out type thing. I wasn't making excuses of, I just didn't want to face people, didn't want to see people. I hate that struggle. Um, okay, so that's that side of it. Yeah, so yeah, she was very inquisitive on how much I prayed for just about everything I had. I did not tell her I had a YouTube channel. Um, one of the girls knew because when I was went into the store, I was talking to her. Um, oh, yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah, I was talking to her in the store. So uh, the last time I went in and because I went in to find out about the community, about this thing that goes on. Um, but yeah, so the other, one of the girls did know that I have a YouTube channel. So whether she remembers what it was called, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Now, one thing I've done was, um, we see Ginger Ginger, what she does, and Jeremy, and that, that what they do with sectioning off their clear covers with washi tape. And so I had done that, and the lady from the store turned around and said, what are you doing? Why, why, do you ha why is it like that? Why did you do that? What is it? And I said, oh, it's washi tape, and... I explained why. I said one of the things is that I can't see the edge of the plastic so that when I put a drill down, I'm putting it on plastic and um, trying to work out why it's not going down and I need to realise it's because it's on the plastic, not on the wax, not on the glue. And I said and the other one is, is what I tend to happen is once I've worked on a diamond painting for a while, that plastic is going to tear. At some stage, I tear it. Um, and then it ends up being crooked and I just struggle with it. So by putting the washi tape down, it just makes it easier. It makes it neater. And she turned around and said, I've never had clear plastic tear. And it's like, okay. Okay. She's been lucky then, hasn't she? Um, when I went into the store today, though, the other girl that was there, I think her name was Amy, I'm not quite sure. She was there and she turned around and I was talking to her and she turned around and said, look, I didn't want to be rude because she, she wasn't there right at the beginning. She goes, I didn't want to be rude, but that tape you put on, what is that tape? So she asked me and I turned around and told her and I told her why and she went, that's a really good idea. Um, you know, yeah, she, she's, she's lovely. If I go to the store, I'd, I like I'd like to go to the store when she's there um, because she is she's nice yeah I like her uh, 
Okay, so there we go there. That's basically... What else have I done? Um, I was just thinking about what else have I done? What else have I achieved? Um, I haven't done any beaded cross stitch. I haven't sat on the couch much. And I have the beaded cross stitch right over there on the couch. I can see on the coffee table in the living area. Um, just haven't felt like doing it. Yet the last time I got started, do, the last time I sat down and did it, I wasn't quite in the mood, but I sat down and, oh yeah, I enjoyed doing it. So I can do some more of that. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm about to go back on work tomorrow two days and two nights so Monday Tuesday day shift Wednesday Thursday night shift and I still have a bucket load of stuff to arrive what I'm expecting in the next block I've got one, two, I think I've got three things coming in the next four or five days. Two of those should have been delivered yesterday, so, you know. Um, so that's order-wise. Yeah, I kind of hit up Amazon big time. Oh, I slipped it. Uh, <laughs> DIY moon, I went. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I purchased some more from them. Um, they only got one diamond painting. Another moon box. <laughs> um, hang on. Just looking for anything else. There we go. Um, yeah, another moon box. I do like those boxes. Oh, I'm a storage junkie. Um, what else? Aha. Uh -huh. Brought something else which will be interesting. I've, I've brought a subscription to something which will come in once a month. And um, looks like quite fun. I doubt that I'll get Nathan to be able to do it with me. I'd like him to join me on something, but it won't happen. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's due, I think they, they send it middle of the month. So there's a little bit of a surprise coming. Looking forward to it. <laughs> um, there's that. And... Um, I purchased, oh yeah, I've, I've, actually you know, I've only done one order from them. <laughs> Hang on, sorry, I had a bug. Um, I purchased something from a shop called Miniature Suite. Um, but I'll give more details on that when they arrive. It's to do with the resin stuff. Oops, missed a three. Sorry, looking for more fives. On the hunt for more numbers. Okay, so that's where I'm about at. Um, I've got to go get a couple of serving boards. Duck into Kmart and get a couple of serving boards. Um, and, whoops, come on, turn over so I can see you. Um... And I have to start, well, not that I have to, I've got to, I want to get in and sorry, sixes and fives, so there's sixes, okay. So I've got to get to and start on my son's, oh, that's what I haven't done yet. I've got to get on to my son's 
diamond painting that I've got to put under under resin. Um, I've needed to get some um, boards so that I can keep it flat underneath. The table I've got is okay for small things, um, but I need a bigger a bigger board. The table is big enough, but the table is just very uneven. So I need a big board that'll keep it really solid and steady, which I now have. So that's on the agenda to do. And um, I have the frame for Elsa. There will be a video on that one soonish. I haven't framed her. She's still hanging up on skirt hooks and the frame is on the guest bed. But yeah, that'll you'll see that framing coming up. Looking forward to doing that one because that's because she's round, and the frame is it's just the backing board and the frame. There is no glass covering. Uh, being a round and from DIY Moon, there I don't believe that there is any requirement to. Uh, cover or seal. I'm not going to seal her. Um, yeah. Because that will give the best, best effect if I don't seal it. Okay. A couple of sevens. Ah. Oh. I think tonight might be a couch night. I might sit down and do beaded cross stitch tonight. That's the sevens. Now for the eights. I tell you what, it's so frustrating waiting for something to arrive. So frustrating to wait. Especially when it's late. Um, the guys that, so <laughs> yeah, obviously I'm waiting for a couple of packages. These guys, I know they deliver on Saturdays. So, you know, I was surprised that I didn't receive it yesterday. I think I have received something from them on a, fr on a Sunday. It surprised me very much when I got something from them on a Sunday. Which is why I keep stopping because I'm listening to see if I can hear, hear the truck out the front. <laughs> Um, but I do know, so it's nearly, it's just, it's just after two o'clock and I do know that when they do deliveries in this area, it is around the two o'clock mark. Um, so yeah, they will be here soonish, I hope. <laughs> um, I mean, it's resin stuff, it's resin tools, it, it just... Once I get those tools, it'll make. So what I was planning to do was do a recording. I was planning to do some resin work this afternoon. And on the basis that these tools were going to be here. This, well, not tools, the equipment was going to be here. Um, but it hasn't arrived. So instead you're getting a whip and chat. And you're also getting me stopping to listen to the surrounding noises in the neighbourhood. Um, <laughs> you probably hear the pauses when I'm going, ooh, where is it? Is that a sound? Because our delivery guys have a, an aversion for doorbells. And I know a lot of people get the oh, well, a lot of doorbells don't work. Well, ours does. I keep testing it. Oh, I've got no sticky there. Okay, here we go. What do you do when you've got no sticky? Radio. So I've got no sticky on that. This is actually a good one. Oops. Radio. Let's see what I can do. Bear with me. Okay, so I've got no sticky on this guy. 
down here. That's not sticky at all. I have double-sided tape. Hang on. I have storage containers of storage containers in storage containers. But double-sided tape. So this is a very thin strip of double-sided tape. It is about the size of one and a half, maybe two drills. And very easy to use. Oops, magnet. It's not really focusing in on that. But what I'm going to do, and I am not left-handed, so this is going to be a bit tricky. I'm going to try and shape that a bit. No, that was a delivery truck, but it didn't stop here. Okay. So what I've just done is I've tried to shape it a bit in there. So what I've got is double-sided glue on the paper. And it is just a case of pressing down one side. If you leave... Whoops, sorry guys. If you leave one section open, so hanging off, see now, you can see, <laughs> can you see that bit hanging off? There we go. So now what I've got is the glue is there. Just going to make sure we're up high enough for that one. I will put the drills on it to give that extra, that presses it down. I did initially press it down, but you want the drills to press it down. You want to make sure the drills are going to stay on there. Okay. So now what we've got, oops, my fingers are on the other glues. So I don't know if you can see that. I've got the glue left over and it's just a case of with the fine scissors is just trimming it off. Now I've got glue stuck on my scissors and I'm just rubbing it. There we go. So there was no sticky on that end, all fixed, all done. This is where this little roll, this little strip of um, double-sided adhesive, this will last for so long. I've only had to use it a couple of times, but it's very, very handy to have. There's a little lesson for you. Slip one in there somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm shaking the uh, unicorn and not the tray. What else is going on? I think that's about it. Lice bubbling on as normal. Um, nothing really exciting happening now. Everything's calmed down around me. I'm feeling a lot calmer. Um... Yeah, just getting getting myself in the groove, get ready to go back to work. Oh, golly gosh, that one just didn't want to go in. Oh, yeah. So the question is, are you still watching me? <laughs> um, I will go, turn around and say again, ladies, the first five plus Anna. Um, to email me with your addresses. Um, I will send you out a test, a test um, cover miner. 
and yeah try and work around that how that goes so I'll do a test cover minder a couple of test pieces send them out you let me know what you think um, because I really would like people's opinions because me giving a cover minder to somebody here they'd go what the hell is that there's no understanding you guys work with well like me you work with clear covers you work with opaque covers um, and you know yourself how strong you like it to be um, and also the design being a bit different a bit different and I mean I know I'm what I'm seeing other people are doing cover minders as well you know I've seen others doing it but for me being in Australia um, shipping to the US is is expensive um, I can ship to the oops that one stuck I can ship to the US um, but the question is is whether anybody would be interested in paying for that shipping um, that that's my big thing I mean I'm prepared to pay for shipping for stuff <laughs> we all know that <laughs> um, but yeah um, and then if I'm the other side of it is with me sending off test pieces to people um, if you're in the US or anywhere else it is a case of I will then find out how much it costs to send um, these overseas um, if I decide to go ahead with making them oops sorry guys I had an itch nope still no package <laughs> um, so yeah I really do want to get them out there I want to find out you know I need to work out how much it's going to cost me to send them you know if I send them to some of you guys just to trial them for two things you know a couple of things one you can I find out whether you like them whether it's worth me doing more of um, I find out if I'm prepared to do it and then I find out how much it's going to cost in freight um, and the flip side of that is I will also have to work out how much it costs me to make them. <laughs> um, but if they turn out like I'm expecting them to, I think I haven't seen anything like it out there for in relation to oops, turn over in, in relation to cover minders or needle minders. Um, and yeah oh hey look at this I've got another one done okay I'm not going to zoom the camera down just shut your eyes for a sec I'm gonna I need to actually bring the camera directly down so you can have a better look I know that when I lift stuff up to focus it makes it a bit harder so what you've got is there and I'm going to actually bring the camera all the way down so shut your eyes for a second it's on a boom scissor boom okay so that is three unicorns just the one side done they're kind of cute um, I am not going to use translucent powder on these. I'm going to use ultra fine glitter on these, which I don't have beside me. Um, they're in the craft room, in the resin room. Um, but yeah, so that's what they look like. I'm not sure about this one. This one's just, I think this one's just got too much white. Should have more colours to it. 
the faces have got too much white. But, so that is two, three done and two to go. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and joining me on this little chat and chat and chill. There we go, chat and chill. That's that's about it. Um. <laughs> it's okay, I just saw something on the camera and went, oh, did you see that? Um, thank you guys for watching, really do appreciate. As I say, I think really do appreciate all my subscribers. Um, but yeah, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, please. Down below, there's my email address. Email me in the first five plus Anna. <laughs> um, I will send a test um, cover mind or two. Um, and the question why I keep saying and Anna. Um, for those of you that have seen where I gave my, my gift away as a 500 subscriber, um, Anna didn't quite do what was required to get in for the draw. So she missed out um, on that. So Anna, I um, recognise that. And, and Anna herself turned around and said, no, it's, I was going to send her one. And she went, no, it's not fair. She didn't do what was needed. Um, so this time it's going to be, well, Anna, you're going to get something from me. Send me your address. <laughs> And you can do a test piece for um, a, of a cover minder. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Oh, actually, there we go. There's something I did. What do you think of that? This one didn't work. Okay. This one has... I used the strip of um, magnet, which I bought in that craft hall. And it's just not strong enough. But on the other side of it, do you know what that is? That they are three tens. Hang on, let's see if the camera is going to focus just on those. Hang on, back of my phone. Let's see if it'll focus on just the. Uh... No, it doesn't want to. It's not being nice. Always trying to find a way that I can get things to focus. Okay, there we go. So I don't know if you can see it, but those dr those are drills, and they are eight twenties. Probably see it better that side. Yes, there's an air bubble in there. But there's that's eight the, that DMC code eight twenty drills on there. Still not focusing nicely. So if you actually, um, if you have a DM, favourite DMC code, um, DFC colour, that would come in handy for me too. I'll we'll see if I can adapt that in. But yeah, that's where I tried those. So they actually will make brilliant cover minders. So keep an eye out. They, you know, I'll do those as well. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, how many times do I do that? Thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, thumbs up, leave me a comment, please subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when anything comes up. Um, I do that and then I can have another conversation. So thank you guys for watching and um, I will talk to you next time. Bye for now.